Welcome back to Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. We've been tasked with clearing out Vault 16 of its uh, new inhabitants, which apparently are aliens and the mutant hunters, I believe. So, let's see what's going on. The first floor of a vault, which doesn't seem to have any enemies on it. Anybody talk to? I uh, wonder if I can bring out my weapons now, or would they shoot me? I'm not going to risk it. Probably no point in going into these consoles, right? I get the feeling these are all just generic people. Computer doesn't seem to do anything. Okay. Wait, wasn't I supposed to talk to somebody about the situation? Who? Ah, probably you. Or maybe these two people, okay. Is that the elevator that goes further down? Looks like it's broken or something. Oh, here we go. So you're that foreigner that's supposed to assist us in this operation. Very well, let's not waste time in lengthy briefings. I'll tell you only what's important. You know, I'm going to be a little bit sassy. I think I'm here to do more than just assist you. Just skip the speeches and tell me what I'm saving your asses from. This won't be some reckless assault like you might be used to from the wasteland. This is a military operation, and you will obey my orders. He cuts off your attempt to protest with a resolute gesture. I don't care what you think, I simply assume you will obey my orders. For your own good, because I don't doubt you'll otherwise die in battle. So, situation is... Alright. Uh, the third floor of the vault has been taken over by the mutant hunters, and the second one is infested with an unknown kind of predator. I have no doubt that the hunters released them there. We'll retake both floors for the Empire, but first, we'll have to clear the second floor. Okay, second floor aliens, third floor mutant hunters. What can you tell me about those creatures? We have no idea what mutated monster it is, we only know what we saw in the video recordings. They're tough and agile. They move bipedally and attack with two tentacles in their jaws. They should be vulnerable there, but I wouldn't count on being able to hit them in the sensitive spot. Wait, what? Oh, I think it skipped and I just kept reading. Uh, two tangles, they are more intelligent than they seem. Don't let yourself be lured into a fight with more than one and watch your back at all times. They have no eyes, but you can s you can still see their sensory organs on the front of their head. Okay, so their sensory organs that are on the front of their head, which are not eyes, apparently are vulnerable. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the Wendigo. And third floor. Hunters are next. Don't even try getting into the third floor. They have a guard posting near the elevator shaft that's killed the last member of our recon team. No doubt they reinforced them since. Okay, how the hell did the, the hunters get inside? We've lost control of both floors when the wall of the control center on the third floor was breached and the predators swarmed into the vault through it. I suspect that the hunters dug a tunnel into the vault and then released the beasts. It's possible to do that from the underground floor of their base. Then they kill the monsters on the third floor, or chase them off into the second one. The tunnel must still be connecting the vault with their base. Alright, what do you want me to do? Setting down an assault team of three to shoot the predators on the second floor. Mm hmm. And I'm going with them. Okay. Climb down the elevator shaft and they'll follow you. Do you have another plan besides a direct attack? A uh, backup plan. Don't like it, but we're ready to go through with it if necessary. We have a supply of nerve gas, enough for the whole second floor. The only effective way of releasing it through the vent is through the ventilation system. We've already connected the gas tanks to it, but the security system is preventing us from releasing it. If you want to do it, you'll have to find a functioning terminal on the second floor and bypass the security measures. 
But doing that will take more than just pressing buttons at random. You'll need to know more about computer systems than that. Okay, well, I'm damn good with computer systems, so... Just gotta find a console on the second floor. Any other catch? Hmm... Uh, yeah, beasts might try to kill me while looking for a console, of course. Might be hard to find one that actually works, okay. Uh, you'll only have a moment to get out of there when you cut off the security measures. I see your armor has its own filtration system, so it won't be a problem for you, but you will be putting the lives of my soldiers at risk. I don't want them to die, because of your incompetence, so don't screw it up, clear? Okay, run fast so we don't die from the nerve gas. Or, well, so everybody else doesn't die from the nerve gas. I'll be fine. But everybody else won't be. Okay. Oh, someone wants to talk to me. Which one, Carrie? Not Carrie, Lystra. Actually, well, might as well tell her to put on her equipment. Which one does it show me what you're. No, not show me what you're carrying. Huh. Yeah, it looks like there's no re or unholster your weapon. I guess I just have to tell them to use their best weapon again. That's awkward. Okay, what did you have to say about the situation? Wait, what's new here? These are all old, aren't they? Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead then. Maybe it was Woofer. Do you have something to tell me? Do you have something to tell me, Woofer? Nah. Just being a good boy. How much ammo do I have left for this thing? I know I used a lot of it on the Super Mutants. Not that much, actually, at all. I've got like 30 shots or so. 30, 35, exactly. Hmm. Gonna have to rely on my sniper after that. Okay. Let's go. Ooh. Yep, that's the Wendigo things. Try to fight as little as... Oh, wow, that's a lot of eggs. Holy shit. Try to fight, fight as little as possible. Find a working console. That is not a console. Oh, God. They wandered over here. Shit. Hit for no damage. Okay, I'll take it. You know, if they're not that... I mean, I don't know how tough they are. I thought they were tough, but... If they hit me for no damage, I'm not going to waste my precious ammo. I'll save that for the mutant hunters, perhaps? The eyes? Hit him in the sensory organs. 16 points of damage. Garbage. Well, now I'm gonna fight all of them on the floor. I mean, I'm pretty sure every single alien on the entire floor is coming here. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to run to a working console if I want to use a console or just kill them. I don't know where a working console is. I can't see anything from here. Just some computers covered in goo, but I don't even think I can use them. Might be something over here, but uh, I think I'm just going to commit to fighting. Yeah, these aliens really don't seem to do that much damage. 
remember them being a lot scarier. When I played Fallout 1 or 2, I forgot which one they were in, or maybe they were in both. Nice! <laughs> Damaging its air? Question mark. Intake? The thing is, though, when I fought them in one of the other Fallouts... Ooh, that doesn't look good. Uh, when I fought them in one of the other Fallouts, I did it really early on in the game. I think I had nothing better than, like, a scoped hunting rifle. And, like, barely any armor. I remember I had to reload my save game a lot of times. Hoping for a lucky crit. And at this point, I've got a sniper rifle and power armor, so... A little bit later game now. Yeah, they got a hell of a lot of hit points. Oh, oh fuck, I didn't aim it. Shit. Yeah, that Imperial Soldier is very dead. Sorry. Oh, look, it's just getting ganged up by four of them. Oof. Alright, let's try to save the soldiers. They're getting ganged up on. No, God damn it, I didn't freaking aim again. Oh. Ah, pure soldier just died. One of them's down. Okay, aim your shot. Don't know which one to go for. I'll go for this one. Okay, 34 points of damage. I contributed. Now it's coming for me. Good. Good to spread the damage out a bit. I can certainly take a few hits. Ah, damn it, she's dead. It's two of the Imperial soldiers down, one to go. I think they're gonna die. Somehow they're still alive. <laughs> they're gonna die next turn, though. Seriously? Okay, this could be a problem. They're just taking way too many damn hits to kill. Perhaps I should switch weapons. Yep, there goes all the Imperial soldiers. Oh boy. I don't want to burst fire with the other weapon, though. Probably hit my own teammates. Okay, good explosion there. Use a stim pack? Good. Or bad. I mean, she was kind of low, but at least she had one. How's everyone doing? Wounded. Almost dead. Shit. I think we need to run and heal. Or walk. Just gently walk over there. You cannot get the- well, try harder. Please don't die. Please don't die. Come on, carry. 
Use a impact, good, okay. Please tell me I have enough points to get out of here. Yes. Oh. Okay. Uh, I can't rest here, right? All right, let's stim ourselves up a bit. Okay, I've healed my team up most of the way. I think I'm gonna need a little bit of help here, so let's do a burst fire. See if I can get a drop on him. <laughs> Look at them all gathered over there. Perfect. Actually, this could be an opera. They actually haven't seen me yet. Ooh. Where, where, where could the computer be? Let's just... Let's just run. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh fuck, there's one over there. Go to the eggs, I guess. Get in here, carry! Woofer! Okay. Please stop coming this way. Um... Like, I don't see anything. It must be behind something, right? Or it's down in this bottom corner that I can't see. Oh, they're all spreading out. Shit. Okay, well, I guess I just gotta shoot them, huh? Don't come in. Okay, it's coming in here. Alright. Fighting time. I'm thinking because of the eggs, I mean, it seems kind of suspicious. Maybe if I blow up the eggs or just walk past them, there's a computer back here, perhaps? Or maybe that's just a bathroom. I don't know. It looks like a bathroom to me. Kind of. I could try. Ah, let's just fight them. I guess, well, with my extra action points, I'll move my way over there. I think it's time for some burst fire. What did that do? 34 points of damage. That was not worth it. Seven of them. Well, this one's almost dead at least. This should kill it. There we go. Let's see if my hunch was right. It's a fucking bathroom. <laughs> Shit. I thought it looked like a bathroom, but then where's the computer? Dear God. Can I go here? Oh, that goes to the third floor. So I'm not supposed to go there until I clear out this floor. Shit. Maybe it is in this bottom corner that I've never been able to see, and I don't know. Or maybe I can clear the goo off, or I don't freaking know. Is there any point in shooting the eggs right now? I don't think so. This is not looking good. Woofer. I don't think I can take them. With the sniper rifle, it's just... It's too slow and there's too many of them and they have too many hit points. Alright, I need to rethink this. Okay, I think I know what I need to do. So I'm going to ditch my followers. And I'm going to pretty much exclusively use my sniper rifle. 
I, I just tested the assault rifle out off stream, or off stream, off recording, off camera, uh, just to see how much damage it do against the aliens. It didn't do much, so it's not worth using. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna ditch my followers. I'm gonna go down here, and I'm just going to make a train of aliens, basically. I gotta do this alone. It's becoming very obvious that my teammates are not up to the task exactly. I could even use this opportunity to search for the console. You know what? Screw it. Let's search for the console. Maybe they haven't seen me yet. Yeah, they haven't seen me yet. Okay, good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, enter combat. Just to freeze everything. A few bites occasionally show up. Okay. So, like... I don't think it's usable, right? No, it's not even usable. What's this? I mean, these are mirrors, right? Like, these have to be bathrooms, surely. No! Shit. Yep, it's a bathroom. Now, are they all gonna come for me? Are they just moving around randomly? Or are they actually coming for me? So I feel like they probably won't come for me if I don't shoot. Yeah, I can move so far that I can outrun them. Surely this is just a bathroom as well. Yeah. Not usable. It's gotta be behind something, I guess. Yeah, these little nooks, those are just bathrooms. They're not worth looking at. They said it was going to be hard to find. They weren't kidding. I feel like I'm wasting my time. It feels hopeless because I don't even... I'm just literally wandering around randomly. Hoping a computer console reveals itself. That's just chair, isn't it? That's chair. Where the hell is this console? It must actually exist, right? Got excited for a second, just a bit. Ah. Maybe I should just go for it. Alright. It's gonna take a while. Yeah, they're almost incapable of doing damage to me. Unless they crit, of course, which will bypass my armor. Gotta try to keep track of which one I've been shooting. This one. Oh shit. I can't, I can't move anymore. Okay. Whoops. Hmm. 
Hmm, even a crit just did two damage. Crit did six, so maybe the crits aren't too bad. Okay. Man, that's a very satisfying animation and sound, isn't it? Good thing is, is here it looks like I can only be attacked by four enemies at the same time, so the rest just have to stand by and wait. That's good for me. I guess I won't run, I'll just keep healing and stay here. Next. Man, I really need the sniper perk. I don't even know if I'm going to get the sniper perk before the end of the game. I think it's at level 20-something. And I'm level, what, 12? Yeah. That'll make it so there's a very good chance I'll get a crit on, like, most, most shots. Which will help so much. Don't have enough action points. Shit, they're getting lots of crits. Well, I gotta choose between healing and shooting. Guess I'll shoot. Try burst fire. Whoa! 130 points. I'll take it. Just hope I don't die. Ooh, ooh, I really could die. Don't crit, please don't crit, please don't crit. Okay, ooh. Got a couple uh, Ultra Stim backs, so. Alright, I'm just gonna keep using this thing then. Damn. I guess I got unlucky the first time. First time it did like 30 points of damage. Okay, I'm definitely gonna survive this now. This gun's so amazing. I shot it in its weakest point for two points of damage. Better. Yeah, so I looked up the article for these creatures, which I thought were called Wendigos, but they're actually called Wanamingos, I think. But they're found in Wendigo Mine? I don't know. Not quite sure what's up with that. But I looked them up, and apparently their weakness is fire. Which makes sense, I mean they're basically modeled after the aliens, right? From the Alien franchise. Ha! Huh, critically missed, lost his next turn. But yeah, there's no small flamethrowers, unfortunately. Oh, hi, Queen. Oh, there's another one, too. And apparently they flee if you cripple their legs.
Ooh, lucky shot. Oh, okay. Last alien living on the second floor was killed, thank god. Ooh, lots of experience. What shall we go with? Well, a little more small guns, a little more science, a little more speech. Lockpick's pretty well and good. Repair, I guess? Don't think anything else really matters. I mean, I guess I, I could start putting points into big guns or something like that. It's gonna take a lot of levels though till it's usable. Huh. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna do it though. Should I do it? Should I do it? Or perhaps energy weapons. Big guns are energy weapons. Let's do big guns. Yeah. I've never used big guns before in Fallout 1 or 2. Let's do it. Sounds more fun than repair. Maybe in like three or four more levels it'll be usable. I'm assuming they don't have any loot. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, yeah. Guess I should loot the Imperial Soldiers, huh? I've got, like... Yeah, I, I can't really take any weight, but I'll take the stim packs. Where did the other ones die? Where's the third one? as a third soldier. Is this the computer? The computer's functional, but there's no reason to touch the repulsive gooey substance it is covered in. I think that might be the fucking computer. It was right there the whole time. Oh my god. Ah. <sighs> it is done. I don't know where the third person is. Oh well. Let's go. Good boy. Well, since this thing's out of ammo, I might as well replace it, huh? Got 100 shots of hollow point. Okay, that's fine. Right, exterminated, second floor secure, but there were losses. The hunters caused the death of more Imperial soldiers, then. I will make sure they're buried with full honors and decorated in memoriam for their con contribution to your victory. I'm starting to understand why the Emperor asked for your presence in the operation. Go rest in the infirmary for now. I insist. I'll make sure the second floor is secured in the meantime. Go find me there later. We'll finish it. Oh, free heals. Thank you. And you are? Ah, you must be the foreigner that Advisor Aran called for help. Though I suppose I should be calling him Emperor Aran now. Anyway, I'm Terry Brooke, the temporary director of the Imperial Hospital. What do you need? Hmm. Honestly, what I need are freaking stim packs, but doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Uh, I don't think any of this is important. But temporary director, how so? Mm, Lyser was supposed to take leadership of the hospital, but didn't. Okay. 
Do you know the situation on the other floors of the vault? Nobody told me anything. Okay. Can you do a medical checkup on me? Okay. Don't know why I did that. I'm sure I was fine, because I just got healed. Perfectly fine. Okay. What about what about Dr. Yeltsin? The, it's the mutant hunter doctor. He's a traitor. It's not widely known that he used to be one of us, and we're not proud of it. Yeltsin started to believe in the false ideology of the hunters, and forgot that a doctor is supposed to heal and help others. It's like he's completely lost his mind. Alright, what about the doctor and the dead quarters? Don't know much, just what I've heard. They supposedly offer high quality medical services. Well, quality for the outside world at least. They take a lot of money for them, but that's understandable. Getting medical material in that crazy world outside can't be cheap, let alone acquiring proper medical knowledge. Do you have any idea how they get the equipment? Or medical material, as you say? Were you ever outside the Empire? I certainly wasn't. Why would I do such a thing? I'm happy I never had to leave the city or felt the need to do so. I might as well just inject myself with some deadly virus instead. Okay. Gonna have to do a lot of scrubbing to get all this goo off, dear god. Oh yeah, I forgot to blow up the eggs. I guess they did that. Right on time. Floor has been secured. Had the third floor scouted and prepared, uh, prepared a plan for retaking it. The mute hunters don't know that we've advanced this far. It's time to settle things with them. What are we doing? Two hunters are guarding the elevator shaft, and mines were recently placed near the entrance. Our soldiers will take care of both. They'll silently take out the guards and remove the mines. They're trained for situations like that. The rest won't be so easy, though. Further actions would in invari invariably lead to open battles, and both sides would suffer massive casualties. And most importantly, we couldn't prevent the hunters from destroying the entire third floor if they decided to do so. Thus, advancing further will be your job. Okay, what do I do? The vault is most certainly connected to the hunter base with a tunnel. You must detonate the tunnel and cut off their access route. Take these explosives. Gives you two pieces of plastic explosives. Make sure to familiarize yourself with their proper usage if you've never used them before. I assume that even one explosive placed anywhere in the tunnel will suffice. Okay, how do I get into the tunnel? Easy, just walk in there. The hunters aren't expecting enemies. Don't panic, stay calm, and they'll think you're one of them, a rookie. Don't leave the third floor, and don't go further into the hunter's base. Because you could blow your cover and give away our plan. They're bound to be more wary in their base. I also want you to take care of the hunters themselves before blowing up the tunnel. Get them off the third floor. Wait. Wait, what? What? Uh, take care of the hunters themselves before blowing up the tunnel. Why would, why would I start to attack the hunters before blowing up the tunnel? Wouldn't I want to cut off their access point to the base so they can't get reinforcements? What? How about I blow up the tunnel first? Okay. The hunters are using the vault systems. Sound the alarm and it should force them to evacuate. Unless they change the controls, you can do that from the overseer chair. And if they did change them, you'll have to solve it yourself. You've proven yourself to be reasonably capable so far. Mm-hmm. After the tunnel collapses, we'll have to fight every hunter that remains, and I expect you to take part in that battle. But if we manage to take the whole floor without losing any Imperial soldiers, it will make for even a greater victory. Okay, so I guess I go to the Overseer's chair, get everybody out with an alarm, then blow the tunnel? That's the plan? Okay, that makes more sense. What will happen to the second floor now that it belongs to the Empire again? As you can see, we've set up a temporary defensive position here. 
Mm, I have no doubt the whole floor will be cleaned and used for the good of the Empire. Mm, okay, okay. Alright, let's go. Climb down, begin the mission. The soldiers won't let you out of the floor until I complete my mission. Okay. Well, I feel like having these people with me is going to blow my cover. But I'm going to try taking him, because we'll know pretty quickly whether that blows my cover or not. Um, they're going to be ar- I mean, they're going to be armored. So I should probably put armor piercing in that weapon. I don't think I have it on me, though. I don't- I don't think I really care. I think I'll just use the sniper. person just magically became dead. Good job. Thank you, thank you. Alright, thanks. Can't pick it up. Don't even have the carrying capacity. Okay, so overseer's chair is what I need first. I could turn off the power switch and let out the aliens. Let's not do that. Yeah, no one's shooting me. I guess we're good. Where's the overseer's place? Maybe here? This looks kind of official. I mean, this is definitely the alien, like, medical room, so it's definitely not there. This is the supply room, looks like, so it's gotta be this room. Oh, right, there's more. Oh, of course. Oh, well, it's gotta be here. Ah, that's the tunnel into the base. Gotcha. You know what? I actually recognize this place from when I played Fallout 1 and 2. Yeah, I recognize this map. <coughs> Don't mind me. Let's hack it. Managed to hack it. Most functions of the overseer chair have been rerouted to it. Okay, sound the alarm. Beep. Run! And that just saved me so much hassle. So, does that get rid of literally everybody? Is there anybody to fight? Seems like the answer is no. Okay. Oh, before I blow stuff up and all that, let's um, see if there's some loot. It's locked. Good sign. Oh, no, that's not what to do. Let's do the good old trick to get it to the top of the inventory. Maybe I do need to increase my lockpicking skill. Ooh, that was definitely worth it. Damn it. Alright, I gotta dump something. These are heavy and not worth much. I don't need that tape anymore. Screw that ammo. For the flamer. Alright.
Definitely worth it. Oh. Chests. Don't tell me all of these are locked. Okay. Let's get to work. At least these seem to be easier to pick. Nah, I don't care about that. What kind of gun uses that? But that looks expensive. Every one of them. It's worth it though, right? Well, that's not worth it. I'm just gonna keep telling myself it's worth it. Maybe I'll find more power armor and I can give it to Lydia. Okay, this was fucking worth it. I think I just found a better sniper rifle. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, before I look at that, I'm just gonna loot the rest. Then I'll look at it, but I'm pretty sure that thing is fucking amazing. I think that weird ammo I just found is for it. Material rifle. That's got to punch through any armor. Pretty sure those things can punch through tanks sometimes. Well, maybe that's an exaggeration. But I know it can puncture certain armored vehicles. This one's a toughie. Definitely worth it. What else can I drop? Well, this armor is really, really heavy. That's Lydia's old armor. I don't want to drop it, though. I don't know what to drop. I'll just drop it. It weighs like 35 pounds. Used a battery on it. I really almost gave up on these. I thought, screw it, but I am so glad I continued. Just goes to show, perseverance pays off. Dear God. Perseverance pays off. Just gonna keep telling myself that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get my lockpick skill up to 100. Next level. Okay. 
Please be something worth it. See? Perseverance pays off. Hell yeah. That thing is extremely heavy. Um, wow, yeah, Lydia, you are going to be... Or, I mean, Lystra. She's going to be extremely powerful. Everyone else is going to be so weak compared to her. Woofer has no armor, and... Uh, Carrie's just going to have a leather jacket. Okay, um... You know, the easiest way to do this, actually, is... Can I do that? Yeah. Yeah, this is the easiest way to do it, actually. Hmm. This is going to be a clusterfuck. I can't give her the power armor. I need, to, I need it to be in her inventory and then tell her to use it, and it weighs 42 pounds. But I can't take anything from her to lessen her weight because I can't carry anything. Shit. Okay, let me do some stuff. Okay, inventory is sorted, and Lystra is wearing the power armor. Which means she can carry even more stuff for me, which is freaking awesome. Almost 200 pounds worth. Okay, it's finally time to check out that anti-material rifle. Sniper rifle model, DSR-66, is a heavily long-range... a uh, heavy long-range weapon for eliminating armored... Wait, heavy? Heavy. No, I can't use it, can I? Oh, I was worried it was considered a heavy weapon. Ah. You need a minimum strength of seven. Well, actually, I have that because of the power armor. Okay. Okay, yeah, so I can't really make good use of this yet, but I'm starting to put skill points into heavy weapons, so I'm actually going to be able to use this soon. What's my strength right now? Yeah, strength is eight with the power armor. So strength is not a problem. Just need more big guns. Yeah. Okay. Well, if someone's really, really close to me, I might still be able to hit them. So I'm going to pop that in there. It weighs 21 pounds. It is full. Six shots. Okay. Alright, not quite as exciting as I thought. Can't really make good use of it yet, but... Soon. Let's blow the tunnel. Why am I going that way? Oh right, because that's where I need to go. I was right the first time. So, I guess let's put it right here. Okay. So I believe you do actually set the timer on these things, yeah. Well, let's... yeah, 30 seconds, fine. Okay. It is going, and it takes a real 30 seconds. Drop it on the ground, let's go team. Come on. Are they having a conversation? They are. Okay. Nice. <laughs> it apparently went off early because I was inept with explosives. An explosion resounds throughout the floor, followed by a rumble of the entrance, caving in. Mission accomplished. Still having a conversation. Do I get, like, bonus points for having nobody die and not having to kill anybody? Fault is ours. Mission accomplished. Good work. Mm-hmm. If you wish to pay a visit to the supply officer, the Emperor agreed to arrange a reward for you in the form of caps. 
And I'm sure the Emperor would like to thank you personally as well. Alright, thank you. Yes, Lydia? Is that the sec- It's the second time she said she has something to say, but there's nothing here. Unless there's like a way to scroll down or up that I'm missing. Ooh. If we talk about one of the things, does that make it like go away? No, it still stays there, right? Oh, no, that got rid of the one about Chuck. Okay, well, let's get these out of the way then. There we go. Fault again is once under the control of the Empire. Let's hope it stays that way. The armor will undoubtedly ensure this won't happen again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so what's going to happen to the mutant hunters? Like, is the agreement severed or what? If we could simply banish them from Albuquerque, our army would most likely have done so a long time ago. Unfortunately, we still need them. They are the only thing standing between us and the rebirth. We'll simply have to be more vigilant than before. However, we'll have to deal with them sooner or later. I believe it's inevitable. I'm positive Emperor Ron will properly prepare us for it. Okay. That was a lucrative quest. Oh. Oh, God. Go back down. We have our weapons drawn. Go! Can I not? Okay, just <laughs> nobody move. What? Oh! 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 They're freaking out. No weapons in the building. Okay, hold on. Fuck. Fuck. Close your weapon. Yes. Okay, where's... Fuck! No! I couldn't see... I couldn't see... Carrie. Man! So, you wanted to speak with us? Sorry to inform me of the third floor being taken over. Excellent work, Stra- Excellent work, Stranger? What do you mean, Stranger? You know me. Well, I guess anybody who's not in the Empire is kind of a stranger. Okay, thank you, thank you. What are you gonna do with the vault? Gotta get it up and running again. Hundreds of damage did a bit. Okay. It's like maybe he'd give me another quest or something, but I guess not. I'd like an official quest to take care of the mutant hunters, because I kind of want to kill them. Let's go collect our reward. Five thousand caps. Thanks. Do you have any stims? No, you don't. But I will trade you nothing because I don't have any of the extra weapons on me. They're all on Lydia. Yeah, I'll deal with that later. All right. Well, I think this episode has gone on pretty long, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I returned, uh, I think I'm probably going to head to Karoth and try to find Lydia's brother. Or Lystra's brother. Sorry, why do I keep calling her Lydia? Sorry, Lystra. <laughs>